What's up, party people? I'm Killer Cobra Dude, and today we have some more Halo 5 gameplay for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little intro. I know it wasn't the most flashy overkill extermination of all time, but you know, you gotta take them when you can. Um, not much movement or anything, they kind of just ran to me, but sometimes that's how the chain kills go. You know, they it's more luck than anything, I feel like, so I got lucky and I'll take it. Um, you don't see, or I don't see exterminations too often. I'm sure other people do, but um, you know, it's kind of uncommon for me, so I was pretty excited when I got it. Um, so today's gameplay, pretty solid comeback win. Um, my team ends up having three people. And at the very end of the game, the other team was beating us 49 to 45. So they had one kill to go before they were able to get the win. And we were able to hold them and get the five more kills before they got one more kill. So especially in a 3v4, that's pretty sweet. But being honest, I kind of like playing a man, a man down a lot of the time. Um, if we're being honest, for the most part, the person in last place on most Slayer games is typically dragging the team down pretty hard. You know, they probably have five or less kills and a lot of deaths. And so being able to get rid of that person just kind of eliminates more deaths, I think, than it allows you to get more kills, if that makes sense. Like, their kill to death ratio is better off the team than it is on the team. So um, I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. I know, especially playing older Halo games, when if it was just me and some of my buddies, we were playing together, two and up together. If it was just me and one other, one of my friends versus four people, I liked those odds, you know. Mando, Mando, Lorian style, I like those odds. But, yeah, um, that's just my personal opinion, though. I know some people like having a full team just because it's more other people for the other team to shoot rather than focusing all their energy on you the whole time because that's true that can be a really big pain in the butt so but anyways on to one of the big discussions for today um what i've talked about like the last few two videos i said i was going to dive in a little bit deeper so finally i'm going to actually do that and we're talking about the xbox series x today so um you know, I said in yesterday's video, yeah, it's got like at least double the processing power and all that stuff of the Xbox One X, but I went down and wrote down some things about the uh, confirmed for the Series X that I'll talk about. So it's got four times more processing power, which if you guys have an Xbox One X, you know that's going to be really significant. Um, it's got better ray tracing, which means that the light, like literally the rays of light, are going to be like more reflective it's going to make shadows better it's going to make like puddles better it's going to make just lighting in general the way it interacts with the environment just a lot better and look more natural i think that's the the biggest piece that goes with ray tracing um there's going to be a quick resume because the console has so much processing power instead of like with the current xbox generation if you want to open up another game, you essentially have to close down the last game you were playing. Um, so if I were to switch back to the Master Chief Collection and get off of Halo 5, I would have to close out Halo 5, which means the next time that I went to open it, it would have to start from scratch. Like, completely reboot and everything. But there's going to be so much processing power with the Series X that you can just switch back and forth between games and just pick up right where you left off. Um, that might not be a big deal for some people. It's probably not going to be a huge deal for me, but it just goes to show how powerful the console is going to be. There's also going to be DLI, which stands for Dynamic Latency Input. Essentially what that means is there's going to be less latency between uh, like things that you have connected to your Xbox. Primarily what this means is that there's not going to be any lag whatsoever between your controller and the Xbox. I know like most people probably don't think that has a big deal um, and it honestly probably doesn't have a huge deal or like reflect in gameplay that much but in a game that I did notice some latency in was the new Modern Warfare. I just felt like when I was aiming and you know I would swipe across the screen and then stop the 
my reticles would continue going for like, you know, a fraction of a second past where I wanted it to be going. Which, you know, in a game like Modern Warfare where the time to kill is like 0 .002 seconds, that missing the one extra shot because of that latency is kind of a big deal. So, you know, that's just my two cents. Probably not a huge deal in Halo, especially because the time to kill is so much longer. But it could affect you in some other games where accuracy and precision is really, really important. Or maybe like a game mode like SWAT, for example. So, and then lastly, there's also going to be 120 frames per second, um, which is just going to make everything about any game on the Xbox Series X just so much more smooth, so much more silky. It's going to feel really good. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be awesome. But then when comparing it to the PlayStation 5, you know, there's not really anything out in terms of specs or anything like that for PlayStation 5. But obviously, it's going to be the big competitor. Um, we're all primarily probably Xbox fans watching this video right now. Maybe a few uh, console people since, you know, uh, the Master Chief Collection, the Halo Reach is now... Sorry, I said console. I meant PC people since the Master Chief Collection is now on PC. So, But like I said, primarily Xbox people. So... PlayStation 4, for being honest, has like a bigger player base. Their exclusives have been better this last generation. Um, and it looks like, from what we know so far, other than Halo Infinite and maybe a few other games, the exclusives so far that they've named for PlayStation 5 are already going to be better. So I'm really interested to see if Microsoft can, you know, step up their game when it comes to exclusive games coming to Xbox. But that's just me. Um, I read an article also saying that PlayStation 5 might have a stronger emphasis on um, VR, virtual reality, and that we already know that Microsoft hasn't really put anything out for VR, and it doesn't look like they're going to with the Series X, but let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see more VR type stuff for the new Xbox? Um, it's never really something that I've been that interested in, mainly because of cost, because buying all the equipment that typically goes along with VR is really expensive. It's a lot of extra hardware that you need to buy. Um, I don't know, it just hasn't seemed that appealing to me, but I know that's probably the future, if we're being honest, maybe not in the next five years, but you know, 20 years from now, I feel like we're all going to be just plugging in and kind of, you know, going into this world. I don't know, that's just my prediction, but what do you guys think? Would you like to see some more VR stuff for the for the new Xbox coming out? Would you want there to be like VR Halo Infinite? I think that'd be pretty crazy if you were Master Chief, you know, instead of playing him with the controller, like your movements reflected in his movements, but I think it could be kind of fun. I don't know. Um, like I said, Typically, the only thing holding me back is cost when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is that something that you would want to see? Um, if not, tell me why. If so, tell me why. So, all right, we're getting towards the end of the video right here. You can see it's kind of close. Um, I've been dying a lot this game, as I'm sure you've noticed. I hate dying, but I do it more than like anyone I've ever played with. So, I just either I'm looking the wrong way and they get the drop on me or I'm just way too aggressive but I'll let the video finish out um, without you having to having to listen to me so you can watch the comeback right here so see you later thanks for coming out hit the subscribe button hit the like button see you tomorrow Yo, good aim sudden death snipers under fire at red lamp. watch the enemy fire Back up. Game over. Victory.